Hey y'all, hey, what's up everybody? So, gonna do a Red Air review. I was trying to see how to like record this because look at this. Let me let me frame you up for a minute. The thing is huge. I'm just like, how do I get the whole thing in frame? So I don't think I am, so we're just gonna do a little bit at a time and piece it together, honey, for the video. But if you're new here, Sarah J, please like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And uh, here we go. So, y'all like my little doodling? <laughs> but anyway, I got the pamphlet here. There's a couple of things I wanted to show y'all in this bad boy. Kachuga. Do y'all know what that's from? If you know what that's from, then you know what's that from. I tell you. That Kachuga. Is from Cars, one of my favorite movies. Anyway, I just want to point out, warning, warning, warning. Look at all the warnings. One through 24 on this page. Thought it was over, uh, no. 33 warnings, 33 warnings. Can we talk about the Rev Air education? They want you to know how to use their product and they provide what you need in the book on just the equipment, how to, you know, reve your hair. So this is supposed to be a, a less, uh, I guess, less heat that would damage your natural curls or hair, you know, like from heat damage. If you notice this first caution here, number seven, prior to using Rev Air, do not use oils, do not saturate hair with hair care products or water to the point where it's dripping. So basically, when it comes to this, I always get like anxious and confused because after you Rev Air your hair, it gets really dry because the more oils you use it could possibly damage the red air so it's cautioned not to use a lot of oils and not to use a lot of um what's that leave-in conditioner so it's like really my hair is like really dry after i use it show you look how big it is so you already know the thing is mad loud it's loud it sounds like a vacuum cleaner but you know gets the job done i like it as you can see it wraps around the whole thing like the nozzle that you need to actually do your hair wraps around the whole thing for storage and so we have, this is the nozzle. And on here, you may think that this would be the power button, but it's not. So this first line is for cool air, for low temperature, heat. And then the double line is for higher temperature. And then if you put it in the middle, the circle is for cool air the inside this is where you put your hair and flip this over you see these two lines that's how you hook it right here after you obviously wrap the cord around you hook it right here and stays on for storage so that's that. Well, if this is not how you turn it on, well, how do you turn it on? So if you see right there, it's the on and off switch. Another thing is here, zero through seven, this is the speed. So once I plug it in, you'll be able to hear the different speeds. And so basically you have to figure out 
what speed is best for your hair, your density, and all that good stuff. And here it is, me sounding like I know what I'm talking about, which I don't. It's just for me figuring it out and playing with it and looking through the manual. So it goes up to seven speed, and then, you know, that's off. So you would just play around with the temperature, different temperatures, and also the different speeds. Now I'm not gonna take this apart, but here you can take this apart and clean the filter. It's a mesh filter, so if any hair is like in it, you can rinse it out and let it air dry. So you would do that, the manual said, um, after like five times, so you would wanna do that. And then also, which I think is pretty cool, just show you this. When we plug it in, this is gonna light up. So that's really nice. As you can see, here is where the cord is stored. Let me push it back so you can really see it. Here's where the cord is stored. And you literally just unwrap it like so. So, it's a lot of wrapping with this bad boy. And the, the problem that you have with this is storage. So it's pretty big and I just had to find a spot to put it in. And I put it in, found to, made up some room in my closet. So as you can see, it's dusty. But we moving on. That ain't the point of this video. You know what I'm saying? Point of this video ain't to look at how much dust is on it. What I have noticed though that this thing is kind of heavy. And the longer you hold it, it starts, you start to feel it. You really do. So let's get to demonstrating. So this is Erin. Got her from Amazon. Say hi to Erin, everybody. Hi, Erin. And yes, she has eyes to look into your soul. <laughs> Nah, seriously, she had like some jewel eyes and I popped them out because Chris does not <laughs> like this thing. He says it's creepy. I'm like, it's just a mannequin head. So, you know, he's like, why does it have eyes? It shouldn't have eyes. But so I just popped the little jewel eyes out. So this is not, this is not human hair. So thankfully the rev air has a setting where we can just use no heat so that's how we're going to demonstrate it today with the no heat so excuse me Erin I'm going to put the nozzle the speed here I have it on two so that's what we're going to do and then I have on the handle I have it the circle which is no heat first thing you will want to do which I did already for Aaron is section off a piece of hair so this will basically depend on how thick your hair is and you know because you don't want to put so much hair that it wouldn't dry it so I just section off a little little piece that we're gonna put in you also would want to detangle this so I combed it through and it's pretty straight and it's not wet because, again, this ain't real hell. This ain't real human hell. I don't want to do too much to it. But you'll get the drift. I'm just showing you how to use it. And then I demonstrate on me, you know, how it works on damp hair. So before we start, I'm just going to do the nozzles here at the different speeds. So you can hear how loud it is. So I'm going to start off with it off obviously I'm gonna power it up and that's the light the colored light that I like and then I'm just do the different speed so you can hear it
There you go. I told you it was loud. <laughs> so let me turn it back around and show you literally how you do it. So, you're gonna literally put the hair in here and it's gonna start to like help you suck the hair in. So once I cut it on, you'll see that. And also once it's in, because it's gonna be so loud, I'm not gonna be able to explain this or you guys will be hearing me explain it. So once it's on and in, you're gonna just hold it. Maybe we should turn Aaron this way. Excuse me, Aaron. don't mean to pull you, but can you turn your head? Thanks. So you're just gonna hold it in like this, like so. So you would do that and you don't need to like move this thing up and down. It's kind of got some weight to it. You ain't gonna be even wanting to do that. And then, you know, you just hold it in. So say if the roots are still wet, you still don't want to pull it up and down. You would just move it, you know, back and forth around the roots till it dries. So that's how you do that. So Erin, we're gonna get started. Can you turn your head please? And uh, let's put it on one. Temperature on nothing, because your hair will melt. And cut it off. Deactivated. Mm. So that's it, guys. That's it. That's all. And I'll put a clip in with, you know, me doing my own hair. So that's my review on the red hair. Let me know what you think. If you guys, there's so many mixed reviews on if people like it or not. So overall, I should just do a recap real quick. The cons are it's massive. Also, it's loud. Also, this is heavy. Imagine doing your whole head. Imagine if you had thick hair and you're trying to hold on to this, it's heavy. The nozzle is stiff. So when you're wrapping it around, um, yeah, it's just difficult. Also, um, when you're trying to wrap the cord around, let me show you the plug. It doesn't fit anywhere. It's no, it's nowhere to fit nestled. So after you wrap it around, it still sticks out a little bit, which also makes it awkward for storing. Um, but other than that, the pros are it works. Um, it doesn't hurt when you're doing it. It's fast. I feel like it's fast. Like once you get the hang of it, once you get like the temperatures that works best for your hair, once you get in the groove, like it's fast. And um, it definitely is an investment, which also needs to be on the con side because it's expensive. I got it as a anniversary gift. Gift Griff. <laughs> As an anniversary gift from from Chris, so just appreciative of that, and uh, yeah, so it's many different reviews, many pros, many cons. But will I keep using it? Yes. Do I like it? Yes. You know, if the major question to really see if you like the thing is if something happened to it, would you repurchase it? A pro also to the Rev Air is that 
I really appreciate that they do this too. It's like continuous Rev Air education because they send you emails on like how to use the, you know, how to use the product. And also they have like on Instagram, they do live sometimes with hairstylists and they demonstrating how they use it and so it's just really nice like the education of the product is really nice and also they have a really cool story about how they came up with this idea so it's very interesting if you guys check that out too that's it guys i was gonna say something else about the red air but i have completely forgotten and that, my friends, is probably why you should have a script when you record and not just go off the dome, the top of your head. But I don't like the script because uh, it makes me feel like uh, it's not real, like it's, I'm not human and that I don't make mistakes. So I usually don't do a lot of ed editing. You know, if I mess up, I just mess up. It's in here. We all mess up in life you know learn from it and move forward so that's just me but thank you guys for watching and i'll keep the videos coming if you keep a liking and subscribing and thank you all for the new subscribers i appreciate it no oh, i don't know what i'm doing this is a journey we're taking a journey together we're gonna get better you know the, we at the bottom right now but we climb up to the top We'll do it together. So thank you. I appreciate it. And see you on the next one.